star cornerback Jalen Ramsey goes in on the quarterbacks around the NFL. What's going on, everybody? This is Jay Xavier Sports, and today we're going to be discussing a hot button topic that's been talked about around the NFL the past two days. Jalen Ramsey just just absolutely destroying uh, quarterbacks with his with his trash talking. And we all know Jalen Ramsey is a trash talker. Ever since he stepped on the field, he's been a trash talker. So this is nothing new. Um, and even earlier this offseason, he already uh, had some things to say about Josh Allen and posted things on Twitter, you know, with him throwing an interception and had something to say about it. So Ramsey, in an interview with GQ magazine, went on to say about Bill's rookie quarterback, Josh Allen, quote, he's trash. <laughs> and uh, about Atlanta Falcons quarterback Matt Ryan saying he was, quote, unquote, overrated and that basically Kyle Shanahan uh, was the reason why uh, he was having success in his MVP season. And then he pointed out that he had a uh, pretty much a mediocre season this past season um, in 2018 and that uh, Garoppolo now we see is uh, doing very well under Shanahan's offensive system. And then he also went on to say Deshaun Watson uh, would be an MVP, you know, in the league. And he also said uh, Carson Wentz would be a future MVP in the league. So he has some good things to say about a couple guys. A couple guys in our division, like I said, Deshaun Watson, he said he's going to be a future MVP. Andrew Luck, uh, he said he wasn't that good. <laughs> um, Marcus Mariota, he actually said he was a good game manager is what he said. Um, you know, guys like Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, you know, he basically said doesn't suck. Um, and guys like, you know, Ben Roethlisberger, you know, we picked off five times in the game. He said, he, you know, decent at best. Even about Baltimore Ravens quarterback Joe Flacco, who who has won a Super Bowl, uh, he even said, quote, unquote, he sucks. And he said it twice that he sucks. So um, or, uh, most of Jalen Ramsey's assessments on these quarterbacks, I really don't disagree with. Um, but here's why I think it's important for the Jaguars. One, I think it, it, puts, it puts the idea in other quarterbacks and even the other team's mind that, okay, now we're going to have to go after this guy. Now we're going to have to go after this defense. You know, they want to talk all this junk and they want to um, put us out there like we suck or whatever. You know, they're going to want to retaliate, you know. And hopefully, you know, Jalen Ramsey, you know, they don't try to take shots at him as, as far as him, like, you know, as far as him getting injured and stuff. We don't want to see him getting injured and going down in the game. But uh, definitely uh, that's going to be a, something to watch out for and pretty much – Every every game this year is going to be circled because of those comments that he made. So it can be a good thing for the Jaguars, like I said, because um, teams are going to be more ultra-focused on that instead of the game plan. But I think, you know, most of the veteran quarterbacks probably won't let it get to them. It'll probably be like most of the young quarterbacks. They'll probably take that a little bit more to heart. So uh, that's definitely something to watch out for uh, this season. And I think uh, I think this is all calculated, honestly. Because when you look at the Jaguars, uh, have we not heard the same things about our organization in the past 10 years or so, you know, that we suck as an organization or uh, we're really not that good or we're overrated and things like that. So it's kind of like it, it, it pretty much ex uh, pretty much explains or gives an example to how this team's attitude is. And we heard Telvin Smith earlier this offseason say we have the best team in the NFL. And, you know, like most of the national media doesn't give us the attention that we deserve or they, they you know, constantly say that, oh, last year was a fluke. But I think this is just, like I said, it's kind of calculated because it puts attention on, on Jacksonville and it kind of uh, forces us to be good, you know what I'm saying? So it, it adds more pressure on us to be good. And I, and I think it's good pressure that we need, you know. Uh, so far as off season, you know, Jags fans are probably – wondering what the hell's going on, you know, with Dante Fowler being suspended and, you know, Jalen Ramsey being suspended for a week. But, um, man, as you can see, man, I just think the mentality of this team is just we just think we're better than any, you know, any and everybody in the NFL, and we're going to go on the field and back it up. So, you know, the fact that we talk a big talk, you know, it's not surprising, and I think it's actually going to be beneficial for us in the long run. But I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Jalen Ramsey went a little bit too overboard? Uh, do you think he's, you know, right on with some of his comments? Uh, but definitely let me know uh, what you guys think. But all right. Thank you guys for listening and watching. 
Uh, definitely subscribe if this is your first time watching and like the video. Other than that, go Jags.